in this super quick after effects tutorial we will learn how to make this super cool looking breaking logo effect and this one is super simple we just need one or two effects and no plugins so i'd say let's just take three minutes and just go right into it so let's make a new composition and just leave normal settings and hit ok and then we need to import our logo of course first of all which should be a transparent png file which would be the best and yeah, just import it and then press S on the keyboard to scale this to whatever size we like. Just like this for this example. And then we can already right click on it and go to pre-compose. And now probably this setting is selected by default for you guys. But make sure it's yeah this one. This is really important and then we can, we can just hit OK. And yeah, now we can already go to the effects and presets tab and look for the shatter effect which is the most important one and we can just apply it on this composition and yeah now we can see we get like some yeah wireframe kind of look but we want to see our logo actually so let's just go to view and change this to rendered so we can actually see what we are working with exactly and yeah by default you can now see this is like just some rectangles and this doesn't look like really natural so we can just open up the shapes thing and change the pattern to glass and this makes it like look like it's shattering in the middle which is super cool but now if you play this animation it's like super fast super random and everything falls down and yeah let's try to make it like the example that i showed you and for this one we can first of all open up the force number one and change the strength to something like 0.3 now this will be really slow but this will still just fall down while breaking and yeah to counter that one we can just open up the physics setting and change the gravity to zero and now it will stay in place and we can see if we play this this will look super cool maybe just for the yeah for the look let's just give it a quick background let's just make a solid background and bring it behind the logo so we can see it better but yeah this is already super cool in my opinion and i think this is already it for the shatter effect but we added some secondary nice effect for the yeah for the whole look or maybe two effects so let's just try this real quick so we have to duplicate our here yeah, our pre-composition and on the lower one we can now apply uh, the light burst effect CC light burst it's called I think yeah just apply this one and now we can give it like an inverse ray length so put in a negative value in here like minus 100 and now we can oh, well, let's go big let's go minus 500 actually and yeah now we can see we get like these cool paths behind the logo and I think this looks super cool, but it's a bit strong, so maybe we can just select this layer and click T on the keyboard for opacity and just bring the opacity down to like 20% so, or 30. But I think this is like a super cool x-ray effect, so maybe you can play with this one. And yeah, to just round it up and make it look even more connected everything, we can just add a new adjustment layer and put it on top of everything and maybe apply a glow effect for example and yeah bring up the glow radius first of all by a lot and down the intensity a bit maybe to like 0.3 because it should look not too much like in the beginning where the logo is still full but yeah i think this whole thing now looks kind of interesting or maybe we can even increase the intensity but yeah, this is now completely up to you how you deal with this whole thing. But yeah, that's it already. I hope you enjoyed this one. And yeah, see you next time.